Hey, this is editing Olivia here. So I realized while looking back on this video, I'm not the best at making eye contact when it comes to my webcam. That's just because I don't really have a good time focusing on myself uh, when I record. This is why it's better when I record with my microphone and nobody else is looking at me. So if I tend to look awkward, that's just because I'm camera shy. I hope you guys understand that. This is a shout out to the person who told me how come I have so many subscribers. You really made my day with that comment. Followed by another person who told me to promote my channel more. Well, here you go. This is my YouTube channel. I like to make things that are related to animation or things that are in the news. If you want to go check my channel, here it is. Here's my icon. This is what it looks like. Look at me. It is amazing. Thank you so much. Now on to the video. Hello. Welcome to the two year anniversary of this channel. I am a month late. I apologize for that. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. But first, my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, watching the videos, even sharing. I really appreciate that so much. The videos I make are all within passion and I just want to talk about this and get it out there and hopefully some people like it and they do so thank you so much for that. Now the reason why this is videos late and also why I haven't made videos as often is because I'm in university right now. A brief story about my college journey. I went to community college in 2017, graduated in 2020, and then ended up coming to university in 2022. And I really want to work hard on my bachelor's, which requires a lot of time and a lot of participation for my major. I don't want to get too much into details about that just yet because I'd rather have the proof that I graduated before I start saying anything. So with that in mind, I hope you understand that I won't make the videos as often. I want to, but college is more important, a bigger priority, and like I said before, it's not like I'm getting monetized off these videos. And as much as I want to keep making more videos, college is my number one priority, and I really want to get that accomplished, so I hope you understand that. And maybe afterwards I could talk about my whole college journey if that's interesting to anybody, but I'm just going to be, you know, in the back burner for a while, and I hope you understand and can appreciate that. What I did last year is share my appreciations of what I hope to do for the future, which I'll talk about here, but also I want to talk about things I didn't get a chance to talk about because, again, university. So with that in mind, I have a list on my phone of things I wanted to talk about that I never really got the chance to do on here, so hope you enjoy. I like to start off by saying animation got the worst short end of the stick of this year. It all started with the Academy when they talked about how animation was a genre for kids, which is not only diminishing but also damn right insulting to a lot of hardworking people in the animation community having to be insulted on national television, but more importantly, just be seen as like second class entertainment, even though they are responsible for the industry keep floating when it came to 2020 and the pandemic. But that's seen of it here or there. You know what was even more interesting? When HBO Max decided to take away all of their original animated content even to the point where creators had to find out their own shows were being pulled away from the platform on the internet luckily some shows are able to find other homes and not really be completely erased but there are still some that we'll just never see what happens to them which is very unfortunate <sighs> so so great all of that new stuff that was coming out and getting to see so many people talk about it not only was made me happy but i just couldn't believe what these people were saying talking about it and i think it's just uh, at the end of the day it's mergers and people not understanding and respecting and i don't want this to be classified as this is just show business for your whole show to just be a race from a platform that was exclusive to said platform that is a big red flag i hope that this could be like solved later in the future but oh my gosh just seeing all that happen was so diabolical so barbaric and i just can't imagine all the hard work that those animators put through and i support all animators and everybody who's been a part of all of those shows that just got ripped out like that i am sorry and i wish we could do more hell i really wish these ceos could understand how the power of animation at this rate but <sighs> it's neither here or there but never forget, animation is and is a medium. It will never be seen as a children's genre. will never, ever, ever. I have a video on it if you want to go check it out. But like I said before, I don't know what it's going to take for some of these people to understand the power of animation. But I know there's going to be some project out there that will change the world. Even though, no matter how much people say it's for kids, I know for a fact that they're hardworking people making something special. I know I talked about this about the girls graduating out of animation comment, but that popped up again and I just got so pissed because it's like, I'm a girl, I like watching cartoons, I love animation, hell, this is why my whole YouTube channel exists. And to hear that damn mindset be said again just because, you know, you're not getting the right responses you want or box office numbers or so on and so forth is just tiring. It's really tiring to hear that every day. And I just want you to know, I hope you know that girls also work in the animation industry and we also love cartoons. This is a very interesting topic I want to talk about too. There's been a recent rise of voiceover actors speaking up against executives and their treatment and also their salaries. For example, John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio wasn't going to be the voice of Bender in the 
Futurama reboot. Now he is back on there, but he did challenge Disney Channel and Hulu on raising their rates for all the voice actors. And of course, I saw people making comments like, oh, he's just being so greedy and blah, 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 blah. I hope you know this is John freaking DiMaggio, right? Bender, Jake the Dog, so many other characters he's played. All he's asking for is a little bit of respect. Not to mention, Bender is the most popular character in Futurama, so of course he's gonna ask for a raise. But it wasn't just for him, he wanted all of his cast members to do that. And I feel like that's really crappy to do. Voice actors who carry these characters and give life to these characters are just gonna get, you know, skirted around just because, you know, well, I mean, you're not a real actor, which, oh, I am tired of that rhetoric. Another thing is that this happened to Richard Horvitz, who mentioned how there was an actor who played Invader Zim in a Nickelodeon, like, mix-up game. I don't remember what it was, but I remember he made a post about it saying how they hired a non-union actor to play Zim and not, you know, him since he created the voice, which is really heartbreaking when you have to hear that. This even happens in anime, and the anime industry is just, it's just absolutely ruthless. Not only do the cast of Juju Kaisen got like chump change when it came to their movie, Kyle McCarley, who was the voice of Mob and Mob Psycho, wasn't even going to be coming back for the third season of Mob Psycho. We made a YouTube video about it, which I can recommend down below. So, I don't watch Mob Psycho and I don't know if the season 3 will get dubbed, but I just want to say that's absolutely just heartbreaking to see. I say heartbreaking a lot because it's true. Voice actors have always been treated like scum and not been taken seriously, no matter how many characters they play. I feel like we make progress, but we're always taking it back because of a major studio or hell, someone makes an ignorant ass comment about it. <sighs> Which brings me to the Mario movie situation. So if you're not aware, a Mario movie is coming out. It looks incredible. I can't believe Illumination is actually putting in so much effort to make this movie great. Which is wonderful to see, because I'm not a big fan of their movies. But I think it's even more insulting the fact that Chris Pratt is going to be voicing Mario, and not, I don't know, Charles Martinson, who is the actual voice of Mario, the character. Also, someone's in my comments talking about who wants to hear Mario's voice for two hours. I'm going to need you to shut up. Do you want to hear somebody else playing Spongebob for two hours? No, you want Tom Kenny to play Spongebob. I don't want freaking Dwayne The Rock Johnson to just voice Spongebob for two hours when there's an actor who created that character and has done it for so many years just to get tossed aside because he's not a big name celebrity. What the hell is wrong with you? And people have been expressing about it and I wish we could bully the studio like we did with Sonic, but it's not possible. It's already set in stone. And I feel like this movie is going to be great, it is going to be amazing, but they're just going to have Chris Pratt anchoring down. They are also prolific voice performers and they do a great job with it. People who are famous names but also didn't treat this as like a stay in job. When it comes to the whole argument of celebrity voiceovers, I want to stress by saying this. I do not hate a majority of celebrities being voiced. What I don't like is when celebrities are cast because of their said name and not just because they're talented people. I know Chris Pratt for a fact only got casted because he was a big name, obviously with being in Marvel and Jurassic World and everything. But the thing is too, he was a good voice performer as Emmett in the Lego movie, and Barley in Onward. So I don't know what it was about this Mario movie that he didn't even try to muster up a good Mario impression. I was going to take this time to talk about the stuff that was animated this year, but the Annie Award nominations are going to happen in a few weeks, so I'll definitely talk about a lot of that there. But I have seen some wonderful stuff this year. I've seen some wonderful shows and movies, and hopefully soon I get to check out other stuff in the future, which I do want to discuss later in my channel. But college comes first, and that's my main priority. So... Thank you for watching my video. So that's a bit of an explanation and also celebrating two years on here. Yay! So if I'm ever gone for a brief period of time, just know I'm either in university or I'm probably working on a video secretly. You just don't know about it. Who knows? Thank you for watching my video. Hope you stay tuned for next year's content and I really hope you enjoy your new year and I'll see you in the next one.